Ha. Huh. There's people on. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah. Yep. Cool. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. I fixed my Zoom from the other night, so nice. I have sound. We could talk as long as we want. All that good stuff. No. <laughs> but I promise I won't talk to you. It may look like I'm looking off to the right this whole meeting because um, on the iPad my camera's over here. And it's like, <laughs> so like, yeah, and you can see like at one point. Mm. Yeah, it's just weird. <sighs> and my, my earphones are dead, and so I was gonna use these that we got for Emma for Christmas, but they're, they're connected to her iPad and won't disconnect. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, hey, that would look way cool. You should do it. Mm. Hannah, you tell I've been home back day. Y'all know each other, right? No. I mean, mm -hmm. kind of from in the groups or anything? No. I guess in the groups, maybe I've yeah. seen pictures. Yeah, it's hard for me to know like who really like connects with other people in our you know online groups. So, but y'all are both yeah. in Knoxville, so that's fun. Well, kind of. Hannah's almost in Knoxville. <laughs> hey, Christine. I, I spend more time in Knoxville hey. than I do at home. Just about. Yeah, that's true. Christine's on. She's in Cookville. Let's see. Who else do we have? Oh, Mary Alley. She's here in Knoxville. She is a, um, she's not a vet student. She's, but she works at the vet school. She works with the animal science department. Like she's in grad school. Um, oh my gosh, Hannah, this is so funny. There is a, I'm like trying to wipe this off my computer screen and it's a, uh, it's something There's like a wall behind you. <laughs> There's a screw. It's been here since we moved in, and you know I've never taken it off. But it, I think it's a bug all the time. <laughs> I was just like, I thought it was fuzz on my computer monitor. I'm like trying to wipe it off of my screen. I'm like, oh, I think that's on Hannah's wall. It is. <laughs> I, I'm like shut in our bedroom since I don't have any headphones, so that way I can like not be so like crazy loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there's like no pictures on our walls. I'm such a horrible decorator. <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to do more, but I don't do more. Um, anyway, I won't keep you guys too long tonight, but we've got um, Mary Alley is also going to be on our team. And then um, another coach of mine, Miranda, she's been a discount coach for quite a while, like a year and a half. Um, she is going to be on a different team, one of Jamie O'Rear's teams. Um, like in her downline, but I was just going to kind of include her in all of our stuff as well, since she's, you know, one of my coaches. So, um, anyway, let's see here. What all did I want to go over real quick? I made a list. I almost couldn't find it. Okay. Got it. So did all of you guys get the registration email or no? I didn't get one. I didn't either. I didn't see it. No. Okay. I will. Let's see. I can forward you guys the one that I got. Although, I mean, it didn't say anything like super specific. Is it somewhere in the office, the coach office? It, no, it should have gotten emailed to you. Um, let's see. <clears throat> or maybe the email just went to the team captain with our registration number. Really, the, the biggest thing in it is that there's an activity tracker workbook thingy. I'm going to share my. Whoa, where'd we go? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna share my screen with y'all and see if you, just so you can see this thing. Um, okay, this is the tracker that came in that workbook, and if you want me to, I can download it and just like put it in our group, you know, or in our little thread, and y'all can download it if you want. I mean, a lot of people are printing this out. Um, it's just <clears throat> basically. Kind of what team cup is how you earn points and everything that stuff i was going to go over anyway but basically every success club point that you get in february equals one cup point one team cup point. So that's easy um you get two points for each member that's registered for summit whoop whoop so becca added two points today <laughs> uh, christine you're registered already right yeah you are because i put you on the room list so all four of us are registered for Summit. 
I'm trying to get Mary Alley to go. I'm trying to get Miranda to go too. Um, hopefully we can get them in too. And, and this one's really a big deal. Three points for every lifetime rank advancement. So that means like Hannah, the highest rank you've ever hit is Emerald, right? Yeah. Right. So if you advance to Ruby, you would get three points. If you advance to Diamond during February, you get another three points, you know? Oh, I always forget about Ruby. <laughs> yeah. And that's one that you and I need to talk about because I, I like Ruby, actually. And it doesn't take as long to get to as Diamond. You get an increase in cycle bonus. I mean, it's a $2 increase still. Like, recognition is kind of like that next rung, but most people skip over it and go right to Diamond. But there's nothing at all wrong with me first. So um, anyway, for every rank advancement you get, though, we get three points um, for Team Cup. So um, rewards, the rewards are always interesting with Team Cup. Um, most people really go for Tier 1 and Tier 2. Tier 1 is a 10-round yeah. tank or it's actually really cute. It's a great tank top with a ten logo on it. Um, tier two, the team reward is a really cool um, duffel bag, like a gym bag. Not that we, you know, need gym bags. We don't work out at a gym, but whatever. They're, they're great for travel. Um, but how we get that is all five team members have to be Success Club Five. So for those that are new, well, so for Becca, do you remember how you hit Success Club? Do what? Do you remember how you hit Success Club? I don't know how yeah. much you knew from previously. Yeah, okay. So basically challenge packs, Shakeology on Home Direct, that kind of thing. Um, if everybody on the team hits Success Club 5 or higher, we all get the double pack too. And then there's, you know, regional team things. Those people, I mean, they've got hundreds and hundreds of points, and I'm sorry, I'm just, it's a bit insane. Um, <laughs> I'm going with tier one and tier two, <laughs> unless y'all want to like totally blow it out the water <laughs> yeah, not do anything else besides team cup all month. So. <laughs> so anyway, these are just tips for, you know, team cup. Um, and again, I will, up, I'll download this for you guys if you want me to you write your goals, how you're going to achieve them, um, staying accountable, are you ready? And then weekly calendars. I mean, this is kind of neat if you don't have something in place already, if you don't already have a planner where you're writing all this stuff. Um, the business activity tracker, there's a few copies of that in here. And then at the end, it's like um, carrying it over into March, rocking March, basically, and your goals for March, that kind of stuff. So that's what that is all about. Um, <clears throat> if y'all want to actually print that out, I'll download it and give it to you guys. Okay, cool. I will do that. Let me make a note because I'll forget. Download workbook. Okay, I already use a lot of those trackers, so I'm not like printing that exact thing out because I use them all anyway, but for you guys just getting started, it'll be, it'll be really handy. Um, okay, so that was, we went over the points, we went over the prizes, um, using your trackers, and kind of what I would like for all of us to really commit to, and I know Christine mentioned this too in our Delta Fire page like a week or two ago, is actually like getting back to doing the business activity tracker. <laughs> which is so stinking easy to do, but it's also so damn easy to not do. <laughs> so yeah. I want us all to just really focus on, you know, at least hitting S Club 5, so that's getting like three new talent pack customers, or even mm -hmm. two talent pack customers and one Shakeology customer on Home Direct. Um, focus on that for the month. Um, Rank advancing, that's, you know, kind of where you're at in your business. Hannah, I know that's a big one for you. Christine, I think it is for you, too. Um, yeah. Mary Alley, that'll be a big deal getting her and Miranda both to Emerald. Becca's situation is a bit different. <laughs> Just a little. We're going to be building her customer base right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
because she's registered currently under her husband. So we've got to do a little six month waiting period for her own actual account. So um, we're going to be working on customers for her right now. But everybody working on, you know, rank advancing, getting to Emerald, getting to Ruby, um, Hannah and Christine, that kind of thing. And just really getting accountable to each other on actually doing our vital behaviors, basically, you know, every day. Or at least, I'm going to say my goal is going to be four to five days a week. That's way more than I've probably ever done. Um, so, and that'll, you know, help us keep really consistent and be really good momentum into the new year. So, <clears throat> um, questions about things so far? Does completion packs count towards SC3? Yes. Two, just like challenge pack. Okay. So does it just have to be, which one does it have to be? Or like any of them? Either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It can be yeah. A completion pack or a challenge pack. Mm -hmm. okay. Either one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one girl I have doesn't have, or she has bod, but she wanted to get like the recover and energize and hopefully Shakeology. Yeah, that's the one we were talking about that deluxe pack too, right? Mm -hmm. I think yeah. it was a deluxe completion pack. That would yeah. be mm -hmm. yep. And you'll get the two success club points for that as well. The only difference with any of the completion packs is just that the bod part is taken out. Yeah, they will get the points and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really glad they ended up doing that. I think it's been very valuable to have. Yeah, definitely. Um, yep. Good, good. Um, another thing that I did today that I just wanted to mention to you guys, <clears throat> because I want y'all to know, like, to have a plan for what we're inviting to. And I made a video today because I got all organized on how I'm going to kind of like onboard new coaches and train, you know, the newer coaches. And even those of you who want to jump right back in, like from the bare bones beginning again, go for it. Um, it doesn't hurt to like re-listen to videos a couple times, you know? Um, but I'm going to keep it very simple so that as we all get more and more coaches, it's something that you guys can do for me. And it's not like, you know, an 18 million step process for a coach to sell a challenge pack. Like it kind of, past. <laughs> um, we need it way more simple. So um, I made a video in Delta Fire. As soon as new coaches come to Delta Fire, um, I'll tag them in the announcement post or you guys do the same, you know, and I'll tag all of you guys in there as well. If it's one of your new coaches, you tag them in that only announcement post that is up. There's a video from me and it walks them through that post. And it walks them through like the, I think it's three main steps that you need to do to get started. Um, <clears throat> the first one being the new coach welcome email. I also have a copy of in the comments of that same exact post so that you all will have it. If y'all want to use the same exact email and go through it as well. Um, Becca, that's the same one I sent to you and Miranda and Mary Hallie earlier this afternoon. The exact same thing. Um, go through that email. There's a PDF included in the email. It's a really good PDF. I did not make it, but um, had it edited for our logo and everything. And it really walks the new coach through getting started. Like, what is Success Club? How do I earn points? You know, what are the bare basics in my business? How to find the training videos of the online office? Like, just very basic first steps. So I'm gonna have them go through, and you guys too, and this is kind of what I really want y'all to do, kind of over the next week, especially before team start it, go through that PDF, see, you know, maybe there's stuff in there that you haven't seen before, especially Hannah and Christine, it's probably got some stuff that you either have never seen or don't remember, you know, way back when, um, or just a new spin on something that'll hopefully click, you know? Um, so go through that PDF. It's not that long. It's not going to take a long time. And then the next step is, oh, these um, social media calendars and like our inviting schedule, basically. And I put copies of these all in the comments of that post. So it's all right there on one post. But this is the social media guide that I'm going to be using because the problem I've been having is getting new coaches comfortable on social media. 
and this kind of gives them a layout for what to post. And when you actually print it off and look at it, it's not as confusing as it looks on this paper. <laughs> and I kind of explain it in that video too. But the top part, it kind of tells you what your main post needs to be on your main social media feed for each day. Like a theme, you know, family, coaching, a fitness post, a community post, your story, you know, a, some little tidbit about it. And then this section at the bottom is like ideas of what to post on your stories each day. So these are gonna be really important for all of us to do, because I'm gonna be doing this right along with you guys and right along with all my new coaches too. Um, you know, to get people seeing our stuff and seeing our message and seeing our story and what we're doing and all that kind of thing. And then I have a calendar in there too for February for what we're going to be inviting to because we need to have groups, obviously, to invite people to. So um, I am starting a challenge group on the third, which isn't really going to help us, you know, right now. Um, but I'm going to do the same group called Elevate 2020 on February 17th for all of us as a cup team really, really, really push for to start February 17th. And obviously it's going to be for paid customers, ideal challenge pack customers. Um, <clears throat> we'll really be focusing on personal development. Um, I've got the Motivation Manifesto book and it has these cool little cards that I got to do that are like one quote per card. They're really neat. So I'm thinking of you know, kind of having a picture of the card in the morning with you know, some sort of text related to it, basically. Um, keeping it really simple though. So we'll have that. We'll log our nutrition, log our workouts and shakes, and like support the heck out of each other and make it a fun group, you know? And that's it. Not like all the other stuff that we have to do or that we're telling our challengers to do, you know? Because I feel like these people coming in, their first group, like they've got so many changes going on anyway. And we're like, oh, do this unfinished challenge. They're like, bah, too much stuff. So <laughs> just keeping it nice and simple. Um, so anyway, we've got that group and then we can do other things as we need to. Diesel Nation's going to have a flash sale at the end of the month. That'll be good to kind of wrap things up. Um, and then, like I said, that calendar that I put in there has got examples of, like, maybe the first week in February, we want to talk a lot about collagen and get a lot of collagen sales. It doesn't really do anything for cut points, but in the long run, it's going to help business, you know? So, yeah, um, just things like that. So, anyway, that's kind of my plan, what I would like for all of us to implement, and like I said, what I'm going to be implementing, too. Um, what other what is do you guys have questions things you'd like to do I mean, anything you do the uh challenge tracker right like the bod or beach body one i usually don't but these groups are going to be a tracker okay i think that'll make it easier because i feel like yeah. groups just get like lost mm -hmm. and yeah, I feel like everybody's got so many Facebook groups now that you're right. I think they do get lost. And with, have you heard about yet the BOD groups coming out? I don't know if you've heard about it yet, Becca. Mm -mm. So my Challenge Tracker app is getting a massive overhaul, like really soon. In March, I think it is. I want to say it's in March. Um, coming up really soon though, and everything is going to be all in one app. So they're going to be able to access their Beach Bunny on demand. We're going to be able to send share carts. They're going to be able to do all their challenge tracker, like their logging, their free wow, everything, and it's all in one. So yeah, I think it'd be really good. So that's why I was like, okay, I have to make myself do this in my challenge tracker app because those groups are going to like switch over in the groups. So, yep. Cool. Anything else? Any other ideas? Things I want to do? Things y'all need help with? Besides all of us kicking each other's butts to actually do our invites every day? No. <laughs> I was going to say, should we like check in every week with like a screenshot of our trackers just to like hold ourselves accountable or something? Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. 
Sounds good to me. Just in our message thread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds like check I logged into that uh, my tracker because I stopped using it as well because you had to put you know pictures with everything. It was driving me crazy. It's like um, you've logged 456 workouts since your last visit. Uh, <laughs> I don't even think I have it on my phone because I got a new phone. <laughs> Time to reload it. Yeah. Mine for some reason I don't know if somebody else like had my login what but I would pull mine up and it would say that I did like three workouts one morning. Weird. It's just me working out like I only did one but it lot of three. Okay. <laughs> You're just an overachiever. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> but, mm -mm -mm. I am ready for all of us to get rock and roll. I know I need the accountability. And yeah, I do. Yeah. I do too. I think that's what we all struggle with. And I've never been good at it. So um, that's like why I've been stalled for <laughs> the entire time I've been a coach. <laughs> <laughs> How many years have you been a coach now, Christine? Um, I've been, including when I was like maybe four. Yeah. So a while. <laughs> I knew it was a while. Yeah. Well, Hannah's not that far behind. What are you? Two or three? Uh, I joined in 2014. So six. It'll be six this year. <laughs> Have you been a coach? That's all right. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Because um, you're like one of the very first ones under Cullen's account. Mm hmm. That's funny. That wasn't been that long. <laughs> I'm marinating. <laughs> Time to go. You gotta let everything sink in for a while first. <laughs> yep. Like, like Beck has been a discount coach for forever. Five years. Five years. Yes. In February. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This and February. Yeah. Yeah. Like Miranda said, she has been since. Must have been 2017, I think. Um, Mary Alley's brand new <laughs> since November. So she started with Reset, a really great company, and um, really wants to kind of get the business part going. So I feel like I'm finally in the right mindset again to help new coaches get started again. You know, I think the past couple of years I've been very like, I don't know. I just haven't. I don't know why. I don't know what my excuse is. I just haven't done it. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm ready. I did a few major life changes during that six years, um, but I think I'm finally to a spot where everything's settled down. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> good. That's good. Good. Yeah, you had graduation and everything in the middle of that. I mean, plus the baby, yeah. you know, all that. Yeah. <laughs> Tons of stuff. Yeah. All righty. Anything else before we all go have our fun-filled Friday nights, which we're all probably going to bed, would be my guess. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm upset the day has been on, so that shows you how fun my Friday nights are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting in my in my pajamas. <laughs> awesome. So am I. <laughs> and I've already had a glass of wine. Because oh. I was stupid and went to Food City at 3:45 on a Friday. At That's least it wasn't. Don't do it. At least it wasn't like a payday Friday. <laughs> this is true. It's not like the first, the first of the or the last of the month. <laughs> I literally just finished working out. Like I took a nap when I came home, and then I worked out right before this. So. <laughs> you said earlier you were drinking your coffee. Would you do drink coffee before your workout? I needed it to wake back up. I usually do energize, but I was just like struggling. <laughs> Y'all, I have handed yeah. and you just had a glass of wine. I have had zero wine all week. Very proud Good job. For that. Nice. That's awesome. Tonight, tonight was the first night I thought, oh, I got to call in a little bit. Like, I'll have a glass of wine. I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. It's hard to break that habit. It is. It's really Especially. Funny. For me on Friday nights is like when I usually have a couple drinks and it's like just not doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get a yeah. little or something. 
especially after the holidays. That's what we did like the whole month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every night. Yep. After our cruise, I mean, that's like an all day drinking adventure, you know? <laughs> For real. It's like coming back from success club trip. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't need to ha I don't need to have a drink with every meal of the day. <laughs> with it's right me, every meal yeah. of the day. <laughs> it's not appropriate to drink your breakfast at school. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the weekends. <laughs> Only on the weekends. Right. Which is a good reminder though, Christine. Everybody be sure you opt in, at least opt in to the Success Club trip for next year. Vivi Ramaya is amazing. Yeah. I'm so excited to go back. Yeah. What does that mean when you opt in? I've seen the email, but I didn't understand it. So if you opt in, it's just like putting yourself on the wait list to get a spot. And what, the way that they release spots, well, actually, it's, it's going to be weird. It's gonna be hard for you, Becca, because you weren't really actively coaching last year, but I would still opt in just in case, because who knows. But they release spots based on your success club points from the previous year. So we'll get off of the wait list based on our 2019 success club points. Um, but what happens once you get off the wait list, they'll send you an email and you have like, I think it's 72 hours to like reserve, confirm your spot basically. And um, you have to pay, uh, it's like a, what is it? You should pay the $300 deposit. $300 deposit. Um, and then depending on the time of the year, you have to pay the, the back quarterly payments too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have quarterly payments every quarter, like of this year. Um, but the way you get it paid for is by earning your success club points. Gotcha, okay club points for this year turn into trip dollars and that's how you get your trip paid for and okay so, like say you got enough sc points to cover the entire trip which is obviously the goal you know not to pay anything it's an all-inclusive resort so it's literally all included and except your airfare so the only thing you have to pay is that 300 dollars deposit and however you're going to get there but the resort itself is paid for by your trip dollars you get from SC points. So if you don't earn enough SC points to completely cover the trip, they'll just like charge you quarterly. The difference, yeah. Gotcha. So you can still go, like even if you don't have it all fully covered, you can still go on the trip. And I would still go. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're really cool trips and they're meant to be vacations. It's not like you go and sit in trainings. It's not like Summit. Yeah, training like all day long and crack it on until late at night. Um, there were a lot of people bring families, you know, bring spouses and that kind of thing. Um, so opt in. <laughs> okay, anything else? Do we want to do weekly like Zoom call or for cup, or do we just want to check in in the thread? In the message thread what's like what's better for you guys i don't want to like load us all up with tons of calls to where we're like oh my god i can't put this in but i want to make sure we don't stay on top of each other too you know we could do like a halfway like point zoom call check in like regularly on the thread and then do a halfway point okay yeah that sounds good to me okay so another call in, like, in february do y'all have any maybe that, that weekend? I was gonna say that weekend before the two seventeen group start date. Yeah, that would be good. Well, that that Friday night is Valentine's night, so. Uh, so maybe not Friday. Maybe not Friday. <laughs> I could do any other night, but not Friday. We actually do have plans this year. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but we can set that closer to time and plan on it before that group starts up. Um, if y'all have questions about like how to invite to the group, like once you go through, go through the PDF, watch the videos in the online office and getting started videos, 
um, even those of you that you know have been doing this a while, get some refreshers, some ideas, and look at the calendar that I've got in that post in Delta Fire in that announcement. And then if y'all have any questions about that, like post those in our little thread, and we'll start talking about them. Um, but I think that way to give everybody a chance to really look at all the stuff that I posted and you know let it soak in and. <laughs> Formulate questions and get ideas. And stuff. So, um, yeah, if y'all need help, you know, writing a post or what do I say? Anything, like, put in the thread and let's all just talk about it and help each other out. So. I like it. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I will let you go. Let's go have okay. a good Yay! Yay! What's our name? Trice. Star tenacity? What's it? Yeah. I like it. Very creative. <laughs> well, we're ready to rock and roll. All right. Well, thank y'all for hopping on. It's good to see y'all's faces. Except Christine, I see your name. But you know. sorry. I just woke <laughs> I took a nap. I'm sorry. I look like a mess. Christine. <laughs> Christine. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Alrighty, we will all be talking a lot and um, let's get ready to hit the ground running. All right. right. Have a good, good night. night. See you guys. Bye. Okay. Bye.